Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Miracle Girl. Today I'm going to do something new. Any guesses? Yes! Today I'm going to teach you the first lesson in our 8th grade science subject. Our lesson is the importance of microorganisms. They are our living organisms which are visible and also invisible to the naked eye in our environment. Okay, can you tell me who are the microorganisms? Yes, microorganisms are unicellular. That means single cell or multicellular organisms which cannot be observed clearly by naked eye. There are many experiments that we can do in our laboratory to observe microorganisms. These microorganisms can be observed clearly through microscope. Microorganisms are found in every habitat on the earth. They live in atmosphere, water, soil, in and non living organisms including hostile environments. There is a tremendous biological diversity among microorganisms. Some examples of microorganisms are bacteria, bacteria, yeast, chlamydomonas. Mucus, Amoeba, and Paramecium. Right, what are the examples? Yes, bacteria, yeast, chlamydomonas, muca, amoeba, and paramecium. Okay. The Dutch scientist Anton van Leeuwenhoek observed microorganisms for the very first time using a simple microscope that he invented. Right, let's talk about the effects of the microorganisms on food. The growth of some microorganisms on food made them unsuitable for human consumption. There are many experiments to identify these effects clearly. Now, I am not going to explain each and every experiment to you. Okay, let's discuss only one activity. For that, we need a slice of bread, some water, a glass light, a cover slip and microscope. The way of doing this activity is, first spray some water on the slice of bread and keep it for 3 days. Then, take some of the substance growth on the slice of bread after 3 days and place it on the glass light. Put a drop of water on it. After that, cover the slide with a cover slip to prepare a temporary slide for observation. Then observe the slide through the microscope under the low power. Okay, let's see what are the observations. Here we can observe that there are thin filaments and black structures on bread. This is a fungus which spoils bread. So the conclusion is the microbial growth causes food spoilage. Okay, at last, let's see what are the beneficial effects and harmful effects of microorganisms. Some beneficial effects are producing yogurt, producing cheese, 
producing vaccine, composting, etc. Some harmful effects are infectious disease caused to man, animals and plants as well as damages caused on surfaces of objects. For example, fungi on clothes, fungi on walls, fungi on wooden surfaces. Okay friends, that's all in this lesson. I hope you will learn something from this. If you like, you can subscribe to my channel. See you soon friends. Bye bye.